the happiest man in Yorkshire tonight, with his team going to Ellen Road and beating the team he used to play for, Leeds United, 2-1, and that after being a goal down. Tommy Wright gave Leeds the lead in the first half, but Ronnie Glavin equalised after 57 minutes, and then David Johnson got the winner for Barnsley, two minutes from the end. The details come from Tom Schofield. A great win for Barnsley. They went a goal down after 20 minutes when Tommy Wright scored for Leeds in a scrappy first half. Barnsley could have scored just before Wright's goal when David Johnson tried a flashy back heel instead of a straightforward pass to Winston Campbell, who was clear in the penalty area. Half-time, Leeds United won, Barnsley nil, and the first 45 minutes, best forgotten. The second half was a different story. Barnsley came out and fought for every ball. They cut out the close passing and played long balls up to their front runners, with midfield coming up quickly in support. The equaliser came on 57 minutes, scored by Ronnie Glavin, after Winston Campbell's shot slid under David Harvey's body, and Glavin at the far post tapped it in. Both teams went for the winner, end-to-end -end excitement, and in the final 10 minutes, Leeds United threw everything into attack. Barnes and Wright shot wide, Wright headed just over, but it was Barnsley who finished the game off to end Leeds United's run of five wins on the trot. A corner on the left, floated over by Campbell, headed into the six-yard box by Carl Area, and David Johnson took off to head firmly into the corner of the net with only two minutes left. Barnsley deserved their 2-1 victory in front of 19,138 spectators, and Bobby Collins did a dance of delight when the final whistle went.